Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Switch Suspension TV show. I'm your host, Seth. This week's episode, we are featuring the 1958 Chevy Impala. James buttoned up all the air suspension on the management side this last week. Did a really cool mount using some of the sheet metal chopping block brackets we use for uh, like link bars. We did a new setup that uh, we wanted to kind of display a lot of the options that Acura has available with the endo tank, the E-Level Plus with the bitchin' uh, ECU that lights up. Uh, and then we wanted to incorporate some hard lines in that too. So did some nice aluminum hard lines, kind of a cascading four, four hard line kind of deal. We went with kind of like this uh, enclosed box. All the management is inside the box. And we got dual endo VT two valve uh, tanks in there, two three gallons. We got a pair of Vire 485 filling them up. And then we've got the uh, Acura E-Level Plus management in there. So the ECU is right there in the middle, lights up and uh, looks really bitching. Uh, so we had uh, Kevin Whips in here for the install. Yeah, so he kind of just kicked it with James, getting some uh, information for his uh, book. Uh, we also uh, finished up all the fitment on the cruiser skirts. So we took the cruiser skirts over to Candy Shop. He's going to finish them up as well as we took the endo tanks apart. Uh, drop those off for paint as well. Yeah, and speaking of Ride Tech shocks, we're featuring that in our Know About It section as well. Know it'll tell you all about them. Thanks again for watching, guys. We appreciate it. Enjoy the show. Hey guys, James here, back on the uh, 58 Impala. Just finished up getting the Axe Air sensors all set up and ready to go. So we've moved on to the actual management on this car, which we've done inside this box. The idea behind this box is going to be a drop down piece in the trunk. We have a stereo shop that's going to finish off panels with acrylic and lighting and things like that with the speakers. So all of our stuff is built inside this box with the hard lines. Everything's flush mounted. Very nice to hide all the wiring. Today is woodshop. Switch suspension, depending on the day, could be any kind of shop. Get as many paint shop days. No, as this is a box for the actual um, air system itself. You Here's have, it. you just maybe didn't see it in the in the building process. We're just gonna mount the equipment all in a preformed box, and then when our friends at the stereo shop. No, they'll, music will be their own, but this will be part of the general, the, the, the grand scene. This is just gonna be like the floor. I'll be able to show you in a, in a few a little bit better than explain it probably. Yeah, it's gonna go in the floor. There'll be like a false floor basically and the, the air system's gonna reside within that. Sorry, I'm concentrating. All my measurements are messed up. We don't have to worry about that. Yeah, basically what he's doing is he's making a tray that's gonna sit in the back of the Impala. It's like a containment area. It's not, it doesn't have a lid. And then the two Vier, or the two AccuAir tanks and the two Vier compressors are all gonna sit inside of this. That whole thing's gonna then sit in the, in the area and then once it gets shipped off to the stereo guys, they're going to do their thing. They can put their subs wherever, and they'll build a false floor and make it all look cohesive. So basically, James here is just setting up the tray. See now, once the tank's mounted, now you have that nice. Now you have that nice illusion of you know some depth to it. Uh, the cool part about this is, is I'll be able to hardline this right here on this part, so I'll be able to do everything, clean this up, mount it. Run all my wiring out the back, do my hard lines, and once this is built, we'll be transplanted into the car. We'll go to soft line after the box into the car. This will be a really nice unit when it's all complete. The two by air compressors, they're gonna be lifted up a little bit, but they're gonna be sideways, and then this is gonna be up here, a little bit higher. Um, and then everything's gonna be hard lines. So he's gonna run hard lines, from here off the tanks down through the middle and it's bulkhead fittings on the back of the uh, box that he's building. Candy 
shop. Just gonna take these uh, cruiser skirts over to candy shop for bodywork and paint. Um, I just, uh, I had to do a few things to the tanks. I had to reverse the uh, caps on one side um, to keep the bolt holes lined up the way we want it to look. And then um, I did some, uh, I glued some nuts in here for mounting these. Um, that way uh, I can access them easier because of the way I made my mount. So yeah, that's just putting the feet back on now. When you're painting the Accurator tank, there's not a, a lot of prep. As long as this uh, Cerakote seems pretty good, um, there were some that had some peeling issues um, that you'd probably want to go all the way down. But like these ones here, uh, we just do a real good sand on them. And then uh, I always start with a etch primer and then a sealer. And um, then I do my base and my artwork. And depends on how far I'm going to go with it as if it gets like inner coat layers of clear and stuff like that. Oh, I love it. I, do, I just have to, uh, I gotta hook it up now. Spend all day doing a few other things and then basically uh, getting a game plan on like three trucks that we have here in the shop just that need cust you know, customer approval. We need some parts. We need some tools for our exhaust guy to work on this. So kind of been dealing with that plus it's Monday I'm always kind of sleepy so now that I kind of just been doing paperwork all morning now I'm really sleepy and now I gotta actually you know I got a couple hours left of the day I'm actually gonna have to freaking do something so that I mean I've been doing stuff but I'm gonna actually have to work now so I gotta wire this box up run the plumbing through just kind of finish off so the car is done the box is done now we got to connect the two build our mount in there and then uh, we're gonna be getting prepared then to head off to the uh, stereo shop where they're actually gonna build uh, the rest of our vision here so they're gonna they're gonna build the speakers in all the panels uh, acrylic over this um, it'll really take shape after this this is a really nice start but it's gonna really take shape once it heads over there um, box itself is just MDF, nothing special. The box contains uh, two Viair 485 compressors, AccuAir E-Level Plus, and two uh, three-gallon VT two-valve tanks. Um, those are currently off getting custom painted. Uh, so today, um, Jamie finished, or, uh, James finished up everything on the uh, AccuAir sensors. So the fronts are mounted, they're good to go. The rears are on the frame, they're good to go. So it looks like right now, all that's left, uh, well, he's, we're gonna run the wires on Monday, and then uh, James is gonna talk to Seth about where we're gonna mount everything in the trunk. Yeah. Yeah, what's cool is, is I, so I, I have a bag job in the book already, right? So that's good. But I wanted something top to bottom. I wanted to be able to say, all right, this is an AccuAir install, I've got a bag install, I want to get like A to B, stock car to done and bag. And so far, so good. I mean, it uh, it looks like we'll be done maybe the end of the next week. And if we can get it done by then, or at least even close to the point where I can take some shots, I'll be good to go. So, yeah. How to install air ride suspensions. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. Which part is short? You're talking about this part short? That's why these two look like they're going down downhill. downhill. Yeah. This one's not. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. I think it's very special. We do. We gotta find some caps for these. I hit up the guy in the UK that makes these. Okay. So we'll see. He, he makes his for SMC fittings, and it's pretty cool because it's like the ring is flush. So the ring comes through the little cover. So it's just like a tube. It's just a cover, dude. It's just like a fucking lug cover, dude. It's super simple. I'll show you. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another segment of Know About It. So we're gonna be touching base on some of these Rytec shocks. If you've been watching some of our YouTube videos, you've noticed we've been using them on all of our Impala builds. These Rytec shocks we've been using are the HQ series, which are gonna be single adjustable. They do offer them as single or dual adjustable. Never seen love like you. They do offer these shocks in a couple different options. You are gonna have your HQ and TQ series. 
Your HQ is gonna be your single adjustable, whereas your TQ is gonna be dual adjustable. Uh, your single adjustability is gonna be in your rebound, which is the little knob on the shock, as well as the TQ with the dual adjustable. RideTech offers a wide variety of shocks for vehicle specific or universal fit, whether you're bagging it, static, and they do also offer coilover systems. They do offer these shocks in universal fitment. It's just gonna all depend on the measurement. So if you're looking to get something spec'd out for you, give us a call down here. Um, ask for Brian. That's our new guy. He'll get you all helped out. For more information on all of these products, you can check out the website www.switchsuspension.com or give us a call. Accurate air control pad. It's usually something me and Seth kind of do together because he uh, he picks out all these places and then I tell him they don't work and then. Uh, and then I pick out some places and he tells me he doesn't like them and then we go back and forth and then yep. usually we ended up with something that uh, is satisfactory but maybe neither one of us was the most happy with. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, it's, it's all about just uh, kind of finding a spot that would be uh, ergonomic, to use a big word, for the driver to reach and be able to control but also not look completely out of place in the vehicle, which is tough in a 1958. All right, hey. We're gonna clam bake, so we're rolling the windows up. Back out. Get out of the <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking we get rid of this little accessory. I believe it's for a cigarette, because uh, these guys are saying it might be a pipe holder. We get rid of this little accessory or put it somewhere else, maybe. And then we do the controller kind of here. And then we'll do our flip mount, where it'll flip up underneath, and then it'll flip back out so you got access, but you really won't see it all the time. Or James, we could even maybe just scoot this fucker over a little bit, because it's okay. just scoot that bitch over a little bit and then get pulled out of them. Yeah. Um, it's always better to mount it. It's I always see. a good idea to mount it. They're like, oh, I'll just put it. And we try to talk them out of it. We don't ever recommend not mounting it. We always recommend mounting the controller. Damage to the cable happens constantly. Shit gets the controller spilled lays on in it. the sun. Yeah, there, get yeah, sitting in the sun, not great. But yeah, I think like that, I'm gonna take a little picture and send it over and see what he says. So maybe something like around there, and I'll loop it back. God damn, bro, look, Tommy came and used my tape and didn't replace it, bro. He's gonna give me, you gonna do me like that, Tommy? It's cause, uh, if, if, if Tommy had a, uh, if he had a nickname, it'd be Monday. Cause nobody likes Mondays. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding. But he acts like a Monday though. He's all grumpy and stuff. Like, he always acts like Monday. Hey guys, I'm Ethan. Thanks for watching our latest episode. And please like and subscribe and stay tuned to our next video. Okay, so what's going on, Kevin? Well, okay, hold on. Am I looking in the camera or am I looking at you? Hey, do I get like a, a royalty now somewhere in a. I would ask. Yeah. I can tell you how that's gonna go. <laughs> if you don't use Lanco Power, then fuck you. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another segment of Know About It. I'm gonna start carrying my gun when I do these. <laughs> yeah, I know. You guys fucking sit around behind me. Shut up. I'm trying to think what I'm gonna say. No. He really, really sucks. <laughs> Gatorade! <laughs> Hang on, there's a hot girl walking by. I'm distracted. Um, sure. I mean, for real, you guys are kids, dude. You're little kids. <laughs>